Let's go ahead and do a review of Sheer SEO. Sheer SEO is a pretty impressive SEO software. It's an online SEO tool that automates your SEO efforts, including rank tracking and link building. You're able to do things such as rank tracking, so you can actually uh, keep track of your rankings on Google, YouTube, and Bing. You're also able to do on-page SEO analysis to get recommendations on how to optimize your pages. They also have a built-in keyword explorer so you can search and find new keywords for your specific niche. And they also have a built-in SEO audit, which will allow you to identify and fix issues on your website. You're also able to do backlinks analysis for your own domain and for your competitors. This would be helpful in improving your domain authority and finding new backlink opportunities. And they also have specific link creation tools, which includes blogs and web directories. And you're also able to keep track of your backlinks so you know if you lose or gain any new backlinks. So once you have a plan for sheer SEO, you're going to need to set up your account. So you first need to enter the domain in which you'd be using, and then you'll need to enter some keywords in which you would like to be monitored by the tool. Now they'll actually give you some suggested keywords are based upon your domain and you can go ahead and enter that um, right here and those keywords will be monitored for your specific domain. Now if you don't like these keywords you can go ahead and enter your specific keywords in which you would like to monitor. And once you're finished just go ahead and click submit. I'll go ahead and leave a link for a free trial in the description below this video. I'll also leave a link for the lifetime deal if it is still available. And once you set up your keywords, this is what your dashboard will look like. You'd be able to see that keyword. You'd also be able to see the rank of that keyword and the date in which they pulled that information, the total volume estimated, and the URL in the search results. And the longer that you've been tracking your keywords, you can go ahead and take a look at the current um, positions, but you can also go ahead and take a look at the history of ranking for those specific keywords. And you'd also be able to take a look at the rank progress, so how much they've increased or decreased in the SERPs. So that's the ranking section. Let's go ahead and move down to the competitors. So the competitor section, as we can see, we're able to do some competitor keyword research. So to get started, you wanna go ahead and find a competitor that's very related to your niche. And we're going to go ahead and paste um, that website into the competitor keyword section. Let's go ahead and search. And what's going to happen is we're going to get a list of keywords that our competitors are ranking for. So this is very useful because you can get some blog post topic ideas. Um, you can also get some keyword ideas in which you can go ahead and write about and try to outrank your competitors. So as you can see, we get a list of keywords in which our competitors are ranking for. We also see the search volume, the cost per click, the keyword difficulty, the rank, and the estimated clicks in which they're getting. So this is some very, very useful information here. So I would probably want to focus on the keyword difficulty and the estimated clicks in which um, these keywords are getting. And you can also go ahead and use some filters. So if you just wanted um, to look at keywords that are getting more than 500 clicks, then you can go ahead and do so. Press enter. And then we can see that that's going to be filtered down. You can also add filters for the number of words if you're looking for only long tail keywords for keyword difficulty, if you're all looking for very easy to rank for keywords and also for ranking as well. So you have a lot of customization and a lot of filtering in which you can do to really find keywords that would be more suited for your niche. When doing competitor keyword research, if you find any keywords in which you like or you wanna explore a little bit more, you can go ahead and click on that specific keyword and you can add them to a list. So you can save that to a list or you can even go ahead and add that to your tracking so that you can see the movement on the SERPs. But again, if you wanted to just save that, you can save that and create a list. Another really cool feature included in Sheer SEO is the keyword gap feature. So essentially how this works is you would enter your competitor's domain and you can enter up to three domains. And once you do so, this feature will compare the keywords that your competitors are ranking for that you currently are not ranking for. So you wanna go ahead and enter a competitor. Again, you can enter up to three competitors. So once this loads, we'd be able to see the keywords that our competitors are ranking for that we aren't ranking for. So again, you have a lot of filtering options here to really find keywords that are most relevant to your domain. And just before we continue with the video, I wanna say that I'm very impressed by Sheer SEO. They have a lot of very useful and powerful features that compare to some of the top SEO tools such as Ahrefs and SEMrush. But when you compare the pricing, you can see that Sheer SEO is a lot more affordable when compared to some of those bigger tools. And so far, it doesn't seem like you're losing out on any features or functionality. It looks like they have a lot, a lot of features that would be comparable to SEMrush and to Ahrefs. 
Continuing with the review, let's go ahead and take a look at the Backlinks Explorer. In order to use this tool, you want to go ahead and enter your domain or your competitor's domain, and you'll be able to get an analysis of the backlinks for that specific URL. You'll be able to see what domains are pointing to your URL or your competitor's URL. You'll be able to see the citation flow which is a number predicting how influential a URL may be. So the higher the number, the more authority that URL has. And you also get a trust flow number, which is a number predicting how trustworthy a page is. And you can see the link text and you can see if it's a follow or a no follow link. This is useful because you can manage what links are pointing back to your website. And if you have a backlink in which you're expecting, you'd be able to see it um, show up here. You can also go ahead and paste your competitor and do a backlink check and be able to see what backlinks are pointing back to their websites. And once that's loaded up, you can see again, what are the most authoritative backlinks that this site is getting. So if there's a site within your niche that's getting a lot of really good backlinks, you can go ahead and take a look to see where they're getting their backlinks from and you can get a better idea of what content they're producing in order to get those backlinks. And you can also use this information by hitting up these sites that are linking back to your competitors and trying to get a backlink from them. The chances are if they're ranking to a competitor within your niche, if you're able to reach out to them, maybe offer them more information or better information that they currently have, it's possible that they may um, include your link in one of their articles. So you can really increase your domain authority and build more backlinks using this tool. Moving on to the research tab, here we have a built-in keyword explorer. So in addition to all of these really, really useful and powerful features, you also have a built-in keyword explorer tool. In order to use the keyword ideas tool, you wanna go ahead and enter the seed keyword in this toolbar. And once you do so, you'll be able to see some phrases and some related keywords to the main keyword in which you searched up. And you'd be able to see the volume, the cost per click, the competitor index, and the keyword difficulty. I would probably focus on the volume and the keyword difficulty. You wanna find keywords that have a decent search volume with a low difficulty. And you can always go ahead and use the filters. So you can filter by volume, by number of words, by keyword difficulty, um, just to be able to find keywords that are most relevant to your niche and keywords that will be more likely for you to rank for. Another cool feature included in Sheer SEO is the ability to create optimization targets. So the optimization targets is a feature for tracking your work on the most valuable keywords. It tracks both the on-page and off-page SEO aspects of the keyword you're trying to rank for and shows the progress in those aspects of SEO and the resulting rank. Tracking is done weekly. So you can either add a new optimization target by adding the keyword and the location on the left-hand side here, or you can go ahead and add one of the keywords that's um, already suggested here on the right-hand side. As you can see, I've added in this keyword onto my optimization target, I can see the rank. I can also see the on-page optimization, the number of backlinks, citation flow, trust flow, and volume. So by doing this, I'm able to get a specific breakdown and some specific recommendations for a keyword and a URL. And as you can see, you get an on-page optimization score. Right now, this is 53. So if you go ahead and click into that, you'll be able to see what the score is and you'll also be able to see recommendations in which you can make to improve that score. Moving on, there's also an on-page SEO section. So this will give you a full site audit of your domain. So you'd be able to see the amount of pages crawled, the pages with issues. If you click into that, you can see all of the pages that have issues. You can see what the issue is and you can go ahead and um, fix those issues. You can also see specific URL issues. So you can go ahead and select any one of those pages that are on your site and you can check to see if there's any specific issues on that specific URL. So a very cool feature included here. And the last tab here is keyword density. So this will be a very useful graph for you to take a look at to figure out where your traffic is coming from to have a visual as to what keywords are ranking and where the traffic is coming from. So another very cool feature that's included and this is something in which I haven't seen in any other SEO tool. And there's also a directory submission tool. So if you're optimizing for local SEO, you can go ahead and add your websites onto these specific directories. And they also have built in reports. So you can actually go ahead and generate full detailed reports of your websites and your keyword rankings. Overall, this is definitely one of the best affordable SEO tools in the market. Not only is it low cost, but they also have a lot of very powerful and useful features included. 
moving forward, this is definitely going to be my go-to SEO tool and I couldn't recommend it more. I'll go ahead and leave a link for a free trial in the description below this video. I'll also leave a link for the lifetime deal if it is still available. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.